So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. One of the most talked about MPVs at the moment is this 2023 Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium. Yes, this is the top of the line version of the all new Hyundai Stargaze and Let's start with the exterior. Just look at it. It's not the best looking out there. However, it is one of the most striking looking MPVs on our market today. It looks similar. Let's not take this away to the Mitsubishi Expander. But there's a lot more going on with the exterior and here in the interior. It kind of looks like if a Hyundai Creta and a Hyundai Staria had a baby. I mean, look, there's so many cues with the Staria at front and on the side profile, yeah, it kind of mimics a little bit of the Creta. But I like the bottom line of it. There's more creases here and there, even on the side mirrors. That's what I like with Hyundais nowadays. They can make whatever design they want and it won't even cost that much. I mean, for this Hyundai Stargazer GLS Premium, this costs 1,218,000 pesos. So that is exactly on par with its competition. Again, like my favorite ever MPV, the Mitsubishi Expander. So, again, start next year. I love the front ish. The ground clearance is 185 millimeters, which is again on par with its MPV segment. And the rear is probably my favorite a part of this Hyundai Stargaze. It doesn't the rear mimic a TIE Fighter? And I like as well when you open the boot, it's like literally the whole piece and the tail lights don't go along with it. That's something the MPB competitors don't even have. So, with the boot space alone, like again, it's on par with its competition. So, with all of the seats up, you have 200 liters. With the third row down, you have 585 liters. And when you fold all the seats down, you have approximately 1,600 liters. And I'm not sure you can hear this on my microphone. Ha <laughs> ha! I kinda get now what Kako said in his auto deal walkaround review slash full review already. There's so much echo here in the cabin and I gotta say this but this cabin alone is one of the most spacious in its class as well. Being the funky striking design, the A-pillar is thin but it is really really long. At least there's a corner window right here. It kind of mimics again like its bigger brother, the Hyundai Staria. The headroom here in front is actually kind of low compared to ones in the second row. And as well space there in the back is excellent. Probably as well one of the most spacious in its class. Since we're there in the second row, the only one in its class that has a seat back table capable of carrying what? kilograms worth of stuff food all of the seats here are all leather getting carried away with the space here so let's go back in the second or later on so here at front I mean this one's plastic but I forgive it but at least the pads here for your elbow is leather this has three cup holders it's a tight squeeze even for my thin water jug but and again it's the fits so here on the left side you have aluminum air conditioning vent a weird cubby space and I thought this was an extra space but it's actually just for your fuse box whoops so here in the steering wheel it is exactly like every other Hyundai the Creta the Staria the Tucson so on and so forth so cruise control functions on the right side and then infotainment functions phone connectivity buttons on the left side and the other biggest talking point of this Hyundai Stargazer is the dashboard it's huge and it's plastic but judging from the reviews I've seen so far okay I sit this high Okay, it doesn't impede my vision whatsoever. So I was worried this thing will impede my vision like I can't see from the bottom of the hood. One drawback only though, just being honest, a 4.2 inch digital instrument cluster, albeit without the supervision display. But I wish this Stargazer also had it, knowing the Hyundai Creta has it. And you have an 8 inch infotainment system that has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, good to know. I do love this piece with the air conditioning vents. It also continues to the left side. It's all aluminum metal trim here. And what's cool with this, there's top storage here on top of the dashboard. And when you open this metal trim, my phone perfectly fits inside. That's so cool. And below the air conditioning vents, there's more storage. I can literally fit three of my phones which is also nice and then below that another plastic trim here for your air conditioning controls further down below you have a wireless charging pad usb port 12 volt socket my phone fits and then you have a conventional gear lever like the hyundai creta i like it's also in a metal trim style and i just noticed right now there is no gloss black here good start with this hyundai stargazer so here in the center console you have a manual handbrake two cup holders and yet again with the ambient lighting and then center console box Alright, on par with its class again. So here now in the second row of the Stargazer. 
I also discovered the seat back table is really really useful. My my camera is literally on it. I wish the seat back table was here as well behind the driver seat. But then again, it's fine. So like again, at front you have an extra cup holder here now on the door card, and above you have air conditioning vents. There are four of them. Thank God. There's lights here. Halogen, but that's fine. And then again, space here in the back is excellent. Then now if I sit here in the middle, there's a transmission tunnel, um, but it is not too tall. And then sitting in the middle. Yeah, it's a little bit stiffer, but again, it's fine. And I just remembered now. Okay, this is your central armrest, but sadly, there is no cup holders. I didn't even mention this. When you fold the seats down, where you can find it, this seat as well tumbles forward. So going here to the third row is pretty easy. And I'm surprised here in the third row. Oh, wow. Okay, comparing with most of the MPVs in its class, this is probably one of the most spacious third rows I've encountered. I have no issue with my feet room and my knee room. That's much, but it's only for the third row, so that is completely fine with me. And I'm ready wearing big shoes. It's, my feet's not getting eaten here in the third row. That is amazing. So as well, few toys here. You have a 12 volt socket, two cubby spaces and cup holders, and a seat belt holder right here on each side. Right, so I'm impressed with this. So as well powering this, it's a one and a half liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine with 112 horsepower and 144 newton meters of torque. And this one is mated to an IVT transmission. So it is exactly the same drivetrain with the Hyundai Creta. I have a review of that as well. And I wanted to show you guys more about the third row. Look at that. That's my feet room, knee room. Excellent. So this is probably again one of the most spacious MPVs I've ever encountered. Sorry for the lighting. So what time is it now? It's only 10.10 10, and I came here 9 o'clock to shoot a lot of cars and I started with, off with this one and the test drive starts at 11 a.m. So anyway, there's a lot to shoot more. So with that it, let's go for a dive. So first impressions of this all new Hyundai Stargazer. Alright, finally got to show as well the infotainment system. I do like the reverse camera quality. It's on par with its competition and the uh, digital instrument cluster. Yet again, it's not a supervision display, but it's alright. looks fancy enough. And I like as well when you change driving modes, it changes color as well. Probably one of the most comfortable ones in its class. And as well, look at the NVH. Listen, sorry, to the NVH. That's really quiet. Even though we're in a rough patch of road, it's pretty quiet. This sun visor as well doesn't have vanity mirror nor an extension but at least it's fine and it's really huge so right gonna go out now of course smart will be the best between uh, all the diving modes since this has the same diving modes like every other Hyundai that I've driven as well so let's just leave it in normal mode for now oh wait no no let's go eco and then sad that just floor it uh, of course you know me already I wanna see how it stacks up against the competition okay the mode That's all right. And normal mode. Okay, body lean there is, and then tire noise there is, but it's on, it's like it's competition. It's not too bad. And then normal. All right, that's all right as well. And as well being the same engine like the Hyundai Creta. Okay, the power and the performance isn't too bad. I gotta say. I mean, you're like going to a stop and then suddenly flooring it. Yeah, it's all right. And I can tell immediately what at high speeds, this feels already planted. I, I like this. Okay, it won't be as sporty just being honest like the big daddy. I keep saying the Mitsubishi x Expander, but I gotta say, this one is not far off. And what else to talk about? The Sting feels exactly the same like every other Hyundai I've driven, like the Creta and so on and so forth. Shout out to my friend Jaika Vira Fuerte in Cebu. Hyundai Crena. <laughs> so, I, I hope you get to drive this one because there is a lot to talk about with this Hyundai Stargazer. And the comfort alone, that's really good. And I even forgot to mention this. There's a sport, wait, there's two sport modes. So, press drive mode and then you're in sport, right? It turns red. And now, there's also an S here in the gear lever. For manual mode, I, I literally forgot all about that. Even 
Tama sa mga yung Creta ganito din, no? Alright, so it's exactly the same like in the Creta. Alright. Okay. Here, the faster part already. Oh, okay. Sport mode at the standstill is much more responsive. Of course, you're gonna hear the engine scream a lot more, but all is forgiven. It's, it's an any MPV, so... one but it ain't too bad either but why would I buy a stargazer over its competition and like I said the MPV I keep comparing I think this is one of the most comfortable MPVs in our segment at the moment and I gotta say this since this being the newest uh, entry from Hyundai this has a very big potential in our market of course when this came out in Indonesia sometime this year only and then from the time now I ch just checked again online it's already the second best-selling model in Indonesia I hope this will have a successful run here as well in the Philippines and now here's smart mode yeah the installation on the engine yeah it's quite noisy but yeah, it's, it's your typical MPV insulation as well. But at low speeds like here, the tire noise, so on and so forth. Yeah, it's, it's again like on par with its competition. Yeah, I gotta say as well like driving at high speeds here at, around the city. This feels, what, somewhat refined, I gotta say, against its competition. Maybe it's just a placebo effect that, what, this is the newest MPV in, in our market. But no, this is... This feels really, really good. I gotta say, it could be a perfect daily as well. Would they take one over the Big Daddy? That would be a tough choice, to be honest. I like the looks of both, but this one, again, looks much, much more striking. And if not mistaken, sir, this has more safety features no, than the competition. Okay, so another up with this Hyundai Stargazer is its safety. And as well, Diving it a bit more, the staying feel is actually really good. Eco, smart, normal, and sport. Of course, sport tends to weight up even more, but here in smart, okay, there's actually good feedback with the steering wheel. I'm impressed. IVT as well, being a CVT, you know, I'm not a fan of it, but it's alright as well. It responds on my command, it's not delayed. You don't feel much of the rubber band effect as well, which is which I look for in a CVT vehicle. The lineup of the Stargazer, there's no manual transmission, but this CVT is actually very good already. Wait, look. It's high speeds in no time. And what? Just that's in sport mode only. In the gear lever, but I'm in the drive mode here. The, the cluster says I'm in smart. It's still responsive, so I'm really impressed. So it's kind of like the Creta. Although this is a little bit heavier in the Creta, but if for some reason you don't feel it. So I would take this over a Hyundai Creta because of course you can sit what a million more people in here. The fuel economy, my best average during the whole route, 13.6 liters per 100 kilometers. That's really good. So the newest entry in our MPV market is this Hyundai Stargazer. This has a very big potential in our market. So I'd like to thank everyone at Hyundai Philippines, Sir Chris over here and Sir Bong here for making this test drive review possible and I'm kind of thinking now of <laughs> considering a Hyundai Stargazer. It's it's really good. So again my review, hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you with more future car reviews and Two more Hyundai's coming right up here from the Momo Concert Grounds. Bye bye.